we have here a, uh, a Vickers Sons and Maxim uh, 75 caliber or 75 millimeter uh, mountain howitzer. This one, unlike the previous guns, has a recoil mechanism. So the, the whole barrel and breech ro uh, reciprocate back on, under recoil when the gun fires. And on this guy, it's interesting, by the way, I should point out, um, two of these were taken by General Pershing on the Pancho Villa raid into Mexico. These were made by Vickers and sold to the US military. But our action, we have a grip safety, basically, that unlocks this, and then it cams open, like so. Let's bring the camera around in here so you can see better. So you can see we have a large screw block and this is going to rotate 90 degrees, or 190 degrees when it's in the breech, so that these threads engage here. And that's going to lock the gun. You can see we have an extractor. This gun was designed for a, a solid brass cartridge case. So you throw the whole thing in there. And then this closes to that point. And then this, this motion of the handle is what's, um, in fact, you can see gear teeth right here these teeth act against a separate gear on, on the bottom of this breech block. And when I rotate this around, it's rotating those threads into engagement. Uh, firing on this. Ah, firing on this was done by a pole lanyard right here and a trigger mechanism. So in theory, you could recock that. Before we move on real quick, I just want to point this out. Uh, the elevation and traverse mechanisms in this are just cool. We have a handle here that rotates about four gears in a series, which end on this large 90 degrees or so of toothed gear that rotate the gun's elevation. That's just the mechanics that are just cool.